Before the video begins, quick reminder that I have my own Arc servers for Steam and Windows 10. They are both really good and fun servers. Steam is wiping December 9 and we aim at over 1000 players on wipe. Be one of those players and join the Discord in the description. In today's video, me and my friend play a dual server with 10x rates. We began on our favorite starter spot, we did our boss fights, scouted for some raids, dominated Lava Golem. Then as we moved into a pro cave that we wiped, there were mess foundations that an admin came to clear. He then logged off with GCM, watch until the end to find out what we did also if you enjoy it please subscribe we are so close to 100k subs the first thing i did was go on gen 1 Dene was actually next to me so i invited him and then i went straight for glitches two glitches was enough as it got me to level 70 i transferred to genesis 2 now i'm gonna punch some trees to get a pick and then when i find the maiming i'm gonna knock him out I put one berry in and of course it's into tame and it's now mine. Now let's lead it to some metal, I'm gonna place some forges down to get that maiming saddle. I also needed a bit of hide not just ingots so I killed this parasaur and right as I was about to craft it a guy in a PT came to fight us. The nabal of the PT and we started airing it, it was a level 80 so it died instantly. He didn't really do much, the nades chased him away a bit, and now I can finally craft my saddle, pick everything up, and dip to our starter base. Before I got there though, I found the yellow drop, which was absolutely useless. Quickly after that, we got to our spot, we built the 3x3 out of stone. And now, I'm about to place 40 forges down, so get ready. I did see purple drops, so it's Ellie Day, and these drops are interesting. First thing I got was a force field. The next drop wasn't so good, but at least they had an owl BP. At first, I had in mind to place it down, put one Ellie on it, and protect us. But later, I realized that I didn't have the engram, and it's required. Then it was a bit useless. He didn't fill up the forges like I told him, so I did it myself. It's a rough life for tech parasaurs, because whenever I see them, I see free electronics. And right here, I realized that I couldn't actually use it, so I resorted to demoing it, which was even better, because I got like 3k ingots from it. I got another purple drop. You'd think it's it's bad, but I got a 200 damage fab. At this rate, I'm gonna just keep farming drops. Minor helmet, 200 dura. It all ended though when I got a prim fabby. Let's put a jenny down already so that when we have heavies, we can put them down straight away. Let's grab a bit of flint and stone with the mining drill as well so we can get spark going. Thanks to that force field, we got enough ingots going. So now I'm gonna kill enforcers for oil, polymer, and electronics. While flying around though, I found the base inside of this tree and I found a little hole to get in from and raided it. There wasn't really much here though, so I ended up just leaving. On my way to transfer out, a guy was killing an enforcer with his bloodstalker and he was kind enough to leave it for me. I then transferred to Crystal Isles to farm some polymer. This one guy in a bloodstalker though wouldn't leave me alone, and little did he know I had a pump on me. I started to farm and mind my own business, and here he came again to fight. It didn't take very long before he got bowled as well. Yeah, get bowled. That's what you get. Yeah, your little wooden shield's gonna help you. No, wait. Yeah, you're dead. Good one. I have a Bloodstalker. I can fight this guy. Yeah, for what? Thanks for the ascending. And then I was able to farm Polly peacefully. I'm already on Crystal Isle, so I might as well go get some drops. I even wasted my time getting the Leploridon effect, but no more drops appeared, so I just left. Dene was actually supposed to farm the Keratin, but after he did, he fell into the rad zone and died. So I'm only here because of him. It's, it's not even my fault. And I did this. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. Bro, I died AFK, bro. Oh. We can all relate to the pain in the ass that it is to get out of aberration, and I tried to tame a Bloodstalker to get out, but it would never work out. Force the Megalo! Force. Eventually, the stars aligned and I was able to transfer out. The next focus would be to get level 100. I started shaking though when I saw that wyvern come out of nowhere. That could have ended my life and my level 100. Oh my, that would have been the end of it right there. And now as I'm about to transfer back to base, a guy in a PT had just had to come over and pick me. And then he did nothing, he just left. I joined the island for a humble cause. I just wanted to farm some drops to get some weapons, some cryopods, and it was just the worst decision ever. There were no drops and plenty of people. This guy in the PT was just harassing me because I had no whip.
Eventually, of course, I bullied him. I had to retreat though because he whipped my shotgun and I wasn't quick enough to take it back. I found the purple drop and said my chance to just leave this hell and of course a guy in a bloodstucker comes and not only that he despawns the drop. The situation became so desperate I resorted to red up to transfer but when I saw that dead PT I started to doubt things and what do you know there's a guy in a bush camping. But not just with a bowler and a torch as you'd think this guy has a pump a fabby and everything equipped to kill anybody but he's camping at red up dickhead eventually i was able to transfer safely thank the lord it may have taken a couple drops more but anyways i'm back at base i crafted another drill and i think it's time we got some keratin because we need paste when i went back to the surface entrance the maiming was still there but guess what there was also another bloodstalker ready to kill me all my shots were fine but when i got picked nothing registered nothing so i stayed on the bloodstalker i tried to shield so he wouldn't bolo me but i guess he hit my boots and then by the time i am out i'm already broken bones all my flag is broken because it's prim and I'm dead. Good game. After such a huge fail and a huge blow to our state of mind, there was only one way to find peace within ourselves. Lava Golem. A few minutes before this though, the nade did get aimbotted and we actually reported it to the admins and they were kind enough to give us the loot back. Oh wait, Ooh. give me that fab. Good shotgun. Take that fab, take the comp. We then killed the golem and as per usual, it was dog. On our way out of the cave though, we did find some resistance. I'm coming in deep. I'm gonna see if I can do something. I was right about to bowl his teammate, but the bat covered him. After I bowled him, I wanted to get rid of him quick by doing the scummiest play I could do, which is drop him into lava. Unluckily, though, he didn't fall in. The fight went from there all the way to the crouch, and eventually he would just run away from me. I made my way to blue up, but of course, once again, transferring is a huge issue because there's the guy in a lightning waiting for me. It's almost dead, bro. Can you pick this? I can't pick. It's almost dead. I can't. For some reason, I can't pick him. Hello? Just kill the damn thing. Then the nade came over in a bloodstalker and picked him. He thought he would just get away, but I thought otherwise. Went back to base to depot all the items we got real quick, and then we went to the next golem. He had a couple BPs on him, but nothing too serious. We then transferred to the other rag where we actually got a gauntlet's BP. I then got bowled by this random guy that then fell off. I waited for him while laying down so he couldn't see my bowler, and as soon as he landed, I bowled him. Definitely on the velo. There oh, you go. Hey! Oh, don't even ask me about the golem loot. What I did notice though is that there was a bed here, so that means we could place our own. So I did that. Later on, we went to the Aberration Poly Zone, where you get real poly. But of course, there were tons of people here too. They didn't really offer much competition, as me and Danae are the perfect duo. Now, I think we're ready to raid some bases. I was scouting North Ice, it was pretty much empty. And then I scouted this pillar, which I always like to raid with a Quetzal. And guess what? It was built. Get a Quetzal going. We need to hit a lick on this. I transferred over to Gen 2, struggled a little bit, but tamed that Quetzal. Whenever I go raiding, for good luck, I always farm berries right before the raid as a tradition. Trust me, it works. Oh my. I think there is really good. Beautiful, beautiful. Just a little bit more up. No, 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 no. Move a little bit to the left. Just a cinch. Not up. Just to the left a little. There you go. Perfect. Nah, no way. I killed him. Good, good, good. Go back into the... We got close to wiping them, but not close enough. Maybe if they were just not at home and we waited a bit, we could have wiped them. But now we're focused on getting Rockwell, so that's why I'm on Extinction getting Cactus App. I went to Center to farm drops because they gave artifacts and we need to do that at Rockwell. But I did find this guy in the swamp that I had to kill first. I missed. You missed. <laughs> oh, you hit pretty well. I got some drops on center, but I realized later that I actually needed 12 of each. So on Aberration, I started farming more. And here we are, doing the Alpha Rockwell for the first time duel with Danae. Oh, what are you doing? No shot. You're <laughs> There's no shot. I'm hiding in my hidden spot. <laughs> 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 and there we go now we just need to hit level 120 and we get all tech grams but before we're productive we need to go to golem again about nine or ten minutes into the video the nate gets his first kill please drop a comment congratulating him for this major event why am i lagging back for it's just lagging man <laughs>
I looted the golem once again, and guess what? Complete dog on my way out. I almost got the biggest ass whooping of my career. Oh, shit. Nah, because the theory quite literally swiped my ass. Oh my, I'm dead. No clue how I'm still alive. Eventually, the five moved out outside of the crouch, and predictably, the nade would die. But I had his back like always. I hid the nade's body away, and then two more guys came to fight us. I killed the naked trying to loot. And the other guy got caught lacking. Rest in peace, redhead. Just when we thought we had enough, a guy in a fire was waiting for us outside. The nade got bullied though as we got ambushed by another duel, and I grappled him, took him off the entire cliff. One of them died. I don't have boots either. I took the prim boots. There's another one. Yeah. And then the nade got killed. <laughs> I took too long. That's my fault. That's whatever you got him. Maybe not. Yeah, you got him. It's okay, Dene. I'll always have your back. Have you ever killed the golem with your shotgun? Highly doubt it. And once again, absolutely nothing good. I told myself, all right, enough golem. Go out and do something else. And this is what happens. Oh, oh, what the? My character literally became invisible. And I searched up a video. The only way to fix it was to go back to golem. When I saw that guy got bowled, I went straight to pump him, but he put a whole spike wall on himself. This guy was being a pest, so I packed him up real quick. You could actually hear the other guy dying to his own spikes. Eventually, he had to break the spikes, came out, and got packed up instantly too. Actually, this guy gave me a good fight to be fair. After 1000 golem runs, it actually gave me something useful, a car car saddle BP. I tried getting a reaper man, but one of these dumb little things did this. Crashed my game, bro. They literally crashed me. I then went to get magma eggs, but unfortunately the volcano was erupting, so I started watching TikToks. The silence of the eruption gone made me aware, and I came back to the game. Now that we're here, we might as well get some black pearls. Just a couple eggs, but one of them was a 130. Back at base, I depoted some nice fur and riot BPs that I got. Then I hatched the magma egg. Most of you probably know, but some may not. Sulfur can actually maintain your magma alive. I basically lagged into lava there, but that little ledge saved my life. Thank you, golem gods. On my way out though, I ran into this complete anomaly. This guy was on a velo, like in a lake fighting bats. It was beautiful. But the bats won the fight. I went to the other golem and found the guy I killed earlier, Pinky. He got full clipped in the water. Poor guy. I didn't even get to finish looting before I was comped in the head by another guy. I almost killed him as he had no boots, but he somehow survived. But this time he didn't. Rip. After killing these two guys, I was actually really stacked, but unfortunately, I went for another fight. A bit greedy of me, and of course, it was a 2v1 once again, it didn't end very well. They played so much before I saw no other way out than to shoot it myself. It's now the end of day one, the nay is logged off, I'm about to, just showing you guys the outside, we got a couple of heavies. The magma is growing, but I'll cryopod it just so nobody kills it overnight, and it's time to sleep tight. First thing I did on day two was check out Pat Cave, where I saw a bunch of racers outside, and I even claimed the baby. They go, what? <gasps> Yoink! Dude, cryopod! Check the inventory, how much HP? I have a decent, like, guide. 7.5. Oh, lord, that's sh- I'll take it. Turns out the pack cave was too strong for us to wipe it right now, but I scouted pro caves and there were a ton that we could wipe. This guy was actually on, on his May wing, but he didn't really resist much. Goddamn, look at me! <laughs> he really didn't have much, nor did his base, but this was just the first of many pro caves to come. Just around the corner was this other pro cave, but this one, to be honest, was even more poor. On my way to depot, the little stuff that I got from the pro caves, a guy on Red Ob was waiting for me. That poor guy didn't stand a chance, and now I'm at base. I'm getting ready for another pro cave wipe, but this one's actually slightly bigger, so we're gonna have to actually prepare. And don't forget to do your berry runs before a raid for good luck. I wanted to use my magnetor. Oh my god. No. <laughs> my ears. All right, we transferred with our armor, and we're gonna get this pro cave that's right in front of us. We're gonna grapple glitch into a corner, and then grapple glitch past the wall. I think shooting me practically. I'm so good at it. So good at this game. I can't even speak English, that's how good I am at yeah, this How game. are we gonna grapple glitch? What grapple glitch are you Easy. taking? How did that not work? I'm in the back, I'm in the back. 
And just like that, I made it to the back and rocketed it. Um, let's do this together, but I need a better helmet. Oh! I forgot it's 6x. I was out of stem with the beer, but I tried my best to get that one by one out. I didn't get it, but when we came back, it was easy. This was by far the richest pro cave raid yet, but it was about to get much better and we had no clue. We took everything out of that pro cave and we depoted it at base just to go straight back to the next raid. They have Desmos. As fat as their wall may have been, this was actually even easier, if not one of the easiest pro caves I've ever raided. <laughs> Let's get these fabricators. Oh my god. Ooh, pearls. Oh my god, the amount of metal. We got a two so. Oh my god, the amount of metal. We got a thylo. Even though this pro cave's wall was actually fatter, the loot inside was more or less the same as the last one. And before I left to transfer out, I even tamed the Bassy. We actually decided to build up on that pearl cave, and in order to do so, I had to clear out foundations, which I later found out they were actually meshed, so I got an admin to clear them out. Then I asked him if he had cleared the entire cave, and he answered with, did he lose anything? Which I took the opportunity to lie, and I said, couple of stegos, a giga, and two mantis. I was just farming hide and pelt while I was talking with him, and I couldn't believe that he was about to give us all that. It really wasn't much of a big difference, but it would just be funny to be able to trick an admin to give us more stuff. As I was on my way to transfer out through the green drop, I find this guy on a giga randomly. Bruh. We got a couple cap turrets. Oh no, I don't. You threw this hard. After somehow escaping that, I went to a red drop where I would find more resistance. This absolute beast decided that despawning the drop was more important than his kit. After three transfer attempts, I finally transferred, put down a bed on my pearl cave, and started to build it. But before I could even start building, this absolute beast came over. <laughs> well, why don't you crouch in front of his crouch and bow? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Sure, 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 absolutely. <laughs> no way! So the guy actually gave me two gigas, a mantis, and two stegos. Just because he trusted me. I'm sorry, admin. I didn't mean to betray you like this. To be honest, I didn't even end up using the stegos or the giga. You'll find out why soon. After shrugging that off like an absolute prick, I went over and tamed the parasaur. This guy in a bloodstalker wanted to try me. It didn't go out too well for him, though. Me and Danae are about to run off for Broodmother, so I'm gonna tame some pro cops. We just need the 150 Ellie. I forgot they need mushrooms, so I had to go all the way to the swamp. I got the sudden itch for Golem, so I went there real quick. When I was about to transfer again, a Pete just stood still in front of me. Hacker. Damn. And now we can do the best boss fight that Ark ever invented. Oh my god! Killing the broodmother was quite easy. But right before we were gonna get out, Danae dies with all the Ellie on him. That I'm in my GCM! Danae! He does. Bro, we're wiping your base like that. The island base, we're gonna soak it. We're gonna see if they're offline and then we soak it. You are a genius. So remember the admin that helped me? He ended up logging off right outside the pro cave with GCM. The first thing you would think is that a content creator should set the example in the community and not do anything that I'm about to do. And if I were to do it, I would do it in secret and not show it in the video. But I took two big no-nos, I smashed them together, and I present to you the first video you'll see of an actual YouTuber body soaking an entire map. Am I aware that I'm a dickhead for this? Yes. By the way, I got a rep down with the Ellie as well as a trans so we could transfer out from the pro cave. Put some heavies down so we don't get wiped while we're up to no good and soaking some bases with our steggles. Wink, wink. We also had to take everything from the old 3x3 and put it in our pro cave safe. In fact, we're gonna build an entire wall before we go. Also, because I'm mostly on Steam, I learned, by the way, that you can actually fill your turrets without the plugin slash fill by putting all the ammo in the ammo box and it distributes it. Somehow I didn't know that. I don't 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 ask me. And if you're wondering where the goat is, he's right here. Look at the goat. <laughs> the goat. So our first target, just to get the, the grinders warmed up, we're going to Lava Cave. If anybody sees me on the way, it's just me and my non-suspicious male character that I'm dragging. Yo, 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 you finally ready? No, wait. Am I ready? <laughs> You're not real! <laughs> You're not real! <laughs> on your armor, you have a bed. Oh, that works. 
works. And the soaking oh. And the soaking commences. As you can see, our stego has like a 100 HP. It's got a cap saddle and some cakes in it, so it's soaking for a bit. And once that got soaked, we went to the back part where there were a couple more heavies left. Rip the poor bastards. The raid was now even fatter than the ones before, but don't get too hooked on this one because we got Carno right up next. Of course, we first depoted all of our resources back into base and say hello to Carno. This time, Danae dragged the body all the way deep into the Carno and the full walls being soaked. I went back for a full set thinking that we had to go deeper, but by the time I came back, it was soaked and Danae dropped the wall. These guys were also decently rich. Our Stego has worked brilliantly against Carno and Lava Cave, but now it had its final challenge, the biggest base yet. This thing was unwipable by now on this server, Ice Cave. Oh my, that body's gonna soak like a demon. Oh my, that thing. You're gonna have to end, by the way. As you can see, Danae even sucks at soaking with an admin body, I mean our Stego. <laughs> oh no, only the left is soaking. Eventually though, he dragged the body fully in and now everything was being soaked. Well, ignore me. I'm gonna do exactly that. I dare you. Of course. See if you can... That didn't. You actual genius. And suddenly, everything froze for a split second. Silence in the ice cave. We had wiped it. Probably my only time, first and last time wiping an ice cave. I am so petty that even when there's one turret left, I use the admin body. You know what I'm dropping right now? Bop. Wait, wait, let me join you, let me join you. Let's do it together. Hold up. Walk you like a dog. <laughs> Walk you like a dog. Let go, boy. Walk you like a Run. dog. Oh no, the mantis! It came out of nowhere. Walk you like a dog. Walk you like an electronic farm, baby. Of course, by my vote and the nays, the ice cave was unanimously the most fat cave we have raided on this wipe. And because we can't transfer the admin body, this would most likely be our last raid, but we still gotta take him with us. He's a legend. In fact, I was wrong. I remember that Pat Cave was still a thing, and we had to pack it up. What do you know though? Pat Cave would be the one cave where the guy would actually be online, so we'd hid the body and we would have to wipe it legit. Did he go to the body okay, and to the right. it. got Just it. Rocket on the body. All right, we can all see that Danae is clearly stuck on the ledge on the right, not on the body at all. But this clown is about to say that he got stuck on the body. Just watch him, watch him. See, this is why we need an admin body to raid. How did he fumble that? Oh my god. Because that got glitched on the body. What do you mean, how did I fumble that? To make this raid even more fun, we had the guy defending like this, rocketing me without legs. And the best part of all was that his name was Goofy Hero. Finally, bro. I'm behind. Danae said finally because we did like two, three runs before this where the rocket just kept glitching. And finally, we were able to raid this base, which is really bad. <laughs> the second it doesn't glitch. Goofy Hero held up a great defense, but unfortunately, we're just better. Don't you kill that rhino. Ah, fuck it. It may have not been one of the most lucrative raids, but it definitely had a lot of ARB. It was about 1 a.m. We had wiped half of the server and we wanted to now go to sleep. And the name told me, just leave the body there. I thought we might put it to use later on. So I dragged it to a nearby river far from the raid so that we couldn't be linked. And I would leave it there for now. Back to base, it's quite easy to understand the progress on our wall because after all those raids, materials were basically free for us. And their mannequins were looking extremely fat. And well, by the end of day two, this is how our base was looking. The wall wasn't too fat yet, but we weren't really worried about anybody. When I woke up on day three, me and Danae went instantly to team car cars as they are now enabled. But since the entire server also wants them, of course I had to fight some people before getting one. I picked him off the blood and before he could land, I fired him and eventually he died to fall damage. And now I can peacefully tame my car car. The other we found on the lava island was a 140, but it wouldn't be so easy as it was outside that rat hole. Danae had a lot of important stuff on him and this guy had a 200 movement speed. He had kitted him and he was just running back to his base, but I did a clutch play at the end. 
I'm gonna get grappled. I grappled After I grappled him, I bowled him, and he was finished. As salty as he should be, he threw out a car car outside, trying to kill one of us, but he failed. Then I actually was able to shoot him off the car car and killed him. And now, all we had to do was tame it, which was pretty quickly, and the guy never came back out. On my way to transfer out, Dene did this. Did I literally my eyes Bro, oh, you're such an idiot. <laughs> I know I've been stressing how much loot we got, but just take a look at that replicator. Look how thick it is. Jesus. With our car cars tamed, it was time to run some Ellie veins and it was these. Is that all? Uh, legs again. 600 gauntlets. Nice. Besides those gauntlets though, the OSD was pretty useless. We were then chilling at a terminal crafting our Ellie into dust when a maniac on a rhino came over. And these rhinos do not play. They have like a 3x damage buff. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my god, kid, I'm almost dead. Just one centimeter away. Just one less armor on my flak. Just one less HP in my character or five more fall damage earlier. And my entire kit would be inside that rhino. We now have element. Hip hip. Hooray. Anyways, we got rid of that rhino guy later on. And an admin came to help me because somebody put an entire fob on me in Golem. He wiped it out. Get clapped, bozo. But Karma is such a hater that this happened. I came back almost instantly and my kit was somehow already taken. We weren't too active day 3 as that was pretty much all I did that day and now I was about to log off heading to day 4. The next day when I woke up I started raising a bunch of car cars so we wouldn't be too worried if we lost one during a counter. I then checked the pop to see if we could do some counters but everything was basically under 10 and I gave Danae a very convincing speech on why we should just quit and see for everything. <laughs> you actual Jew. There's no way you cockblocked me. There's no way! I start red stick head. If we can't get wiped, we'll wipe ourselves. Yee! You know what? <laughs> oh, no way. Nice one, dickhead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Eat my rocket, bitch. No, 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 play fair, play fair, don't be a bitch. I then meat ran the entire base. Wasn't much to be fair since everything was in cryos. And then I drowned my car car and then drowned myself. By the way, I did come back one more time for the admin body, but unfortunately by now it was no longer in GCM and died to a raptor. Rest in peace, Brody. All right, so I had to make an alt because I got banned from the Discord and I told the owner what I had done. So it's pretty funny. As you can see, he did a little statement here. I'll leave it there for you guys to read it if you want. And I mean, I do feel bad, but it's such a funny video. So we had to do it. We had to do it for the people. Nobody on YouTube has made a video admin soaking somebody's base. So it was pretty funny. As you can see, before the video's even out, the talks about this have already began. And people are already waiting for the video. <laughs> so, yeah.